Hey, my name is uh, Officer Paul LeMay. I've been with the Glendale Police Department for about 17 and a half years. Um, this event happened on June 2nd of 2005. I'm Officer Montalvo. I've been with the Glendale Police Department for about three years. It was about 12.30 uh, in the morning. They dispatched me to this call along with my partner, Officer LeMay, and uh, saw my sergeant, one of our sergeants standing to the front and heard him say over the radio. He confirmed that it was in fact a house fire and he was being told by some of the people out in the street that there was potentially a victim inside the house. Um, I drove in front of the house and I could see that the front door was open, flames were coming out of the house, so the house was, was fully involved practically. I saw this woman screaming across the street from the house and I went up to her. Maybe she lived there because she was very emotional and asked her, I heard there's somebody trapped, there's, there's still somebody inside, you know, where, you know, where, where, what bedroom is it, where is it, you know, and she finally told me it was a, it was an older lady, she was bedridden, and she was uh, in a bedroom that was along the west side of the, of the house. I tried looking through the IV, there was a fence separating the, the driveway and the, and the house that was on fire. I looked through the IV and managed to see a hand uh, hanging out one of the windows. On my way over there, I saw Officer LeMay, and I screamed at him to you know, to help me out. And I said, the lady's hand is hanging out the window. And um, he ran right after me, and so Officer LeMay and I were trying to pull her out, but we, were, we had to pull up and over to try to get over the window. The smoke was really bad. I, you couldn't see, you couldn't really see inside the house, and. I don't know where so much heat came from, because I couldn't see any flames inside the room where this lady was. Um, our center of gravity was a little low. We had to hunch down to prevent ourselves from getting hit in the face with all the smoke that was pouring out of the window. And that prevented us from getting the victim out and over the window ledge. We were really struggling to, tr to get her out. And we were having a difficult time because of all the heat coming out of the window and the amount of smoke coming out. And I guess due to the heat, the lady was also very sweaty. And so when you try to grab a hold of something, it would just slip off. Well, uh, Officer Le LeMay and I struggled a little bit. And I finally yelled out and somebody to help us. And before the words got out of his mouth, suddenly, you know, there was a young gentleman who came in between us. The neighbor, he's actually a fire cadet. He immediately came and helped us out, Peter Wang. Between the three of us, we managed to pull her over the, the window ledge. And she got a little stuck because she had an oxygen line attached to her. I got my knife and I knew that oxygen and fire really don't mix that well. So I just grabbed my knife and immediately just cut the hole. I, we had to cut the holes. I just cut the holes with my knife and just started running forward away from the, or away from the house. And, took her to the paramedics and they took care of her. I was just very lucky that, or I don't know, maybe God put me there, or I don't know what it was, but I managed to see her hand, but you can hardly see it. And uh, it was hot and we, we, we took in some smoke and I was coughing out my lungs for a few minutes afterwards. It was pretty bad. Uh, the lady, I didn't think she was alive because when we tried to grab her and pull her out, it was just, she, she wasn't helping us out. And that made it even more difficult to try to pull her out. But I mean, just in case she was alive, we, we kept on trying. Uh, at the Glendale Police Department, we're very proud of Officer Montalvo and Officer LeMay. Uh, obviously, we are not trained as firefighters and uh, we're not equipped to uh, take on a fire. But what we do have is a strong sense of duty. And I think that's instilled from uh, the day that uh, our recruits you know, enter the academy to the day we put them out on the streets on their own. And the other thing that uh, is entrenched in our officers is a sense of uh, sacrifice, the uh, desire to uh, put the community uh, before their own well-being. And I think that's what uh, we experienced with Officer Montalvo and Officer LeMay. Uh, when they arrived on scene, the house was uh, engulfed with flame, smoke was uh, pouring out of the building. 
uh, civilians that had attempted a rescue before our officers arrived on scene. And they were aware of that. However, once they knew that there was still someone inside the location, they were willing to make uh, a personal sacrifice to uh, make that rescue attempt. So that's ingrained in all of our uh, officers uh, and uh, our civilian employees. It's quite an organization. So we're very proud of uh, our officers and uh, this uh, accomplishment, what they've brought to the Glendale Police Department.